Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to all. My name is Dan Peters of Common Futures and I'd like to um, welcome you, everybody here at uh, the EU Sustainable Energy Week and also about 800 people who joined online from across Europe. Today marks a, a special moment, the start of the Biomethane Industrial Partnership. This partnership will be an important instrument to scale up production of sustainable biomethane, purified biogas across Europe. An especially warm welcome to our four distinguished speakers. Frans Timmermans, Executive Vice President of the European Commission. Kadri Simpson, <laughs> <laughs> European Commissioner for Energy. <laughs> Harmen Dekker, CEO of the European Biogas Association and Ole Velplund, CEO of Nature Energy, Europe's largest producer of biomethane. A warm welcome to the speakers. <laughs> and without further ado, may I please invite Executive Vice President Timmermans to enter the stage. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think it works now, yes. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. It is my pleasure to say a few words. I've been told, and I'm under strict instructions, not to speak too long, so I'll try and be as quick as I can. Uh, we are faced, uh, as Europeans, but the world community, with a combination of unprecedented challenges. Uh, of course, you'd expect me to raise the issue of the climate crisis, which will not go away whatever else happens. But of course, our immediate concern is this brutal war unleashed uh, by Putin on a peaceful neighbor, a war that is affecting all of us, and a war that has deeply disrupted energy markets and um, uh, has led to a huge increase in the sense of urgency for Europe to also uh, go for an energy transition because the only way we as Europeans can increase our energy sovereignty our self-reliance is through renewable energy. We have very little uh, gas, we have no oil, and a f bit of coal left, but we certainly don't want to be dependent on that. So the only way we can make sure nobody can blackmail us in the future is to have our own energy resources, which, by the way, are cheap, uh, are endless, and are accessible if we organize it well. Now, as you know, to especially after Repower Reu, to reach the goals we want to reach, something that has become even more urgent now, we also need to increase biomethane production. And our ambition is to go to uh, 35 BCM by uh, 2030, which is an 11-fold increase of that production. And we also want to do it in a way that is sustainable, so not use the wrong biomaterial uh, to do that, not to push out feedstuffs, uh, uh, which uh, we cannot afford to do. And only through this cooperation, I believe this can ma be made possible. And through this cooperation, I'm confident we will get there. And I want to emphasize this because I truly believe we still don't understand, fully understand, to what extent we are being challenged today and to what extent we will be challenged in the years to come. And we need to prepare our population for that. We need to urgently do something about these unsustainable high energy prices. And Kadri is working very hard on this. I'm working very hard on this. Com um, uh, Commission President von der Leyen is working day, day and night on this. But we cannot turn expensive gas into cheap gas. So we need to do, we need to save a lot of energy and we need to speed up the introduction of renewables and biomethane is going to be a very, very important part of this. I hope you all understand this. Your role in this is crucial, and together we can get there. And this is just about as much time as I have been given to say something. Thank you very much. Thank you, Franz. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Me and Franz, um, we just came from... Uh, from the college meeting. It was another meeting which uh, directed, uh, uh, well, where we discussed our, our um, next steps to address this current energy crisis. 
that we are facing. So after the <coughs> after the brutal war that Russia launched against Russia, um, after their s manipulation of our energy markets, we all understand that uh, we are just too dependent on imports from Russia. And uh, there is no better response than developing homegrown green energy production. Um, and in this context, biomethane will um, play a crucial role in diversifying Europe's gas supplies. And therefore, a significant increase of sustainable biomethane production was one of the key actions uh, under the Repower EU plan. And we wanted to be ambitious and we wanted to help the industry to achieve this goal um, to launch um, um, this um, biomethane industry partnership. Um, it was uh, it was a very important step because uh, um, we can ensure that we will achieve our our uh, ambitions um, to achieve this target. This uh, 35 billion cubic meters of annual biomethane production, we will need um, three main elements. We need to overcome uh, the current barriers for scaling up the production. Um, we have to share best practices and encourage multi-stakeholder dialogue. And the biomethane industrial partnership will be crucial in helping advance uh, in all these three. The Commission uh, wants to enable both small and large-scale investments uh, in new sustainable production capacity. And we are therefore ready to work closely with the biomethane industrial partnership to make it a reality. The biomethane uh, industrial partnership will also play a crucial role in supporting member states in scaling up the biomethane production. It will help member states as uh, they prepare national strategies and policies. And they will aid um, member states in assessing uh, their national biomethane potential and define national targets. Ladies and gentlemen, the biomethane industrial partnership is open to all interested parties to all who share the same goals. And we strongly encourage interested stakeholders from the whole value chain, academia, but also non-governmental organizations and civil society to participate actively in this partnership. I look forward to this new initiative and my close cooperation with the Biomethane Industrial Partnership in the future is, um, is here to stay. Thank you. Executive Vice President, Commissioner, dear all, um, it's now to me, I think, to say a little bit more about biogas and biomethane. The sector is providing a large amount of renewable energy in the form of electricity and heat already to households, to public buildings like schools and hospitals and businesses. And when upgraded, it can replace all uses of fossil gas and can provide below zero emission transport. Today in the EU, our sector produces as much biogas and biomethane as the entire natural gas consumption of Belgium. Over the years, advancements in technology and operations have led to a sector which can sustainably contribute to the need for renewable gas in a substantial way. By, for example, using food waste, wastewaters, agricultural residues as feedstock for biomethane production. And with that, we can transform waste streams into valuable resources. And that is the core principle of a circular economy, without displacing food production or impacting land use. Biomethane has some advantages that other forms of renewable energy do not have. It can support rural development and set a path for agroecological transition, revitalizing our soils with natural carbon storage, putting in extra humus for the revitalization, minimizing the use of synthetic fertilizers, and by the way, that is saving extra greenhouse gases in the meantime. Additionally, it strengthens the EU energy security with a sustainably, locally generated renewable energy source. It's a win-win-win solution. The sector, which EBA represents with nearly 8,000 stakeholders, 
can provide 35 billion cubic meters of biomethane by 2030 and ramp up further to 160 billion cubic meters by two uh, 2050. And that means that the biomethane can become a major renewable gas in our future energy mix together with green hydrogen. The biomethane sector is ready to meet this 35 billion cubic meters target. And this will require an investment of 70 to 80 billion euros. And to ensure that the goal, that we reach that goal, the investors need much faster permitting procedures across Europe and long-term confidence that production will be matched with relevant offtake opportunities. Setting national biomethane targets Strategies and policies will be crucial alongside the easy access to gas grids and cross-border trade of biomethane. The Biomethane Action Plan annexed to the Repower EU outlines barriers that need to be overcome to rapidly scale up biomethane. And to this end, close collaboration between Member States, European Commission, the Biomethane Value Chain, but also civil society organizations and academia is required. And as such, the Biomethane Industrial Partnership, as, as um, EPP Tenement already said, and Ms. Simpson, will be instrumental in Europe to drive the joint efforts to rapidly increase biomethane production and use. And for this reason, the EBA is very proud to announce today the launch of the Biomethane Industrial Partnership and work together with all stakeholders to turn the 35 billion cubic meters target into reality. And with that, I'm really pleased to give the floor to one of the larger investors, and actually the largest investor in biomethane in Europe uh, for sustainable biomethane production, Ole Helpflund, CEO of Nature Energy. Thank you very much. Um, you have said almost all, all you we can say about biogas, uh, Harman, so I will not uh, continue in that route uh, so much. Uh, I know that um, I think it's I want to, s to thank you, the Commission, for the, the, the courage to take in and challenge the industry, saying that we have to produce uh, 35 billion cubic meters of biomethane by 2030. I think I'll, I'll use a picture that um, the head of cabinet, uh, Samson, said to me uh, at a meeting I had with him, saying that, well, we're putting out a rope for you, and we're pushing the rope, so we just, just need people at the end of the rope to, to pull in the rope as well. And that's what I'm here for today, to say that, that uh, we will pull the rope, uh, of course. And I think that's, uh, I, I think it's, as we need to build biogas in, in big scale. We need to put the gas on the grid. And uh, we're ready to, uh, to do these investments all over Europe. Uh, we have a model in Denmark. We have built 12 big scale biogas plants in Denmark. And uh, that has been helping to have 30% of the, 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 the gas in the grid in Denmark that is methane, biomethane. I think that's, that's a way to follow for all the other countries. And we will, we will gladly take the challenge from the Commission to try to, st to, st to, st to start pulling the rope. So, uh, and I hope you put more, in more, more, more meters of, of rope in this because, <laughs> yeah, because, because uh, we should do even more than 35 billion cubic meters because I think, as Harman said, that we should reach a, a, a point where we can substitute all the Russian gas in the grid. And I think it's almost the same numbers that we're talking about what we can do on all the organic waste in, in, in Europe. And I think that's, that's only, I, I think I'll just also say to you that, <coughs> that when we are, we're so used to, and that's perhaps m most to you, uh, Mrs. Simpson, that we used to say that wind and solar, they are su su sustainable um, sources for, for, uh, for uh, renewable energies. But you have to remember that organic waste is as well. Because I completely ag uh, agree, we shouldn't produce biomethane on energy crops. We should use it on residues and organic waste from industries, from the household waste, 
That's what we do. We want to do this sustainable because that's the only way to go forward here. But we want to do it in big scale because otherwise we cannot help you to, uh, to take all the rope. So, uh, so just to say to you as the last cue here, you put, uh, put in the, the rope, we'll pull it in and we are ready. Thank you. May I invite all of the speakers to, to stand up and line up on stage next to each other because we are now about to, to formally launch the Biomethane Industrial Partnership. Um, today marks the start of a very important, significant scale-up of biomethane in Europe um, and, and substitute uh, uh, Russian gas. I would like to herewith declare the Biomethane Industrial Partnership for formally opened. And we hope many stakeholders will join the BIP. We hope that many stakeholders will join the BIP and uh, to make it a success. We've now come to the end of this, uh, uh, of this event, short but sweet. Uh, thanks all for participating. And please may I invite the speakers to follow me for photo opportunity downstairs. <laughs>